How you doing? It is Feel Good Friday, and I am hoping that Facebook behaves itself, but I am not hopeful. <laughs> oh, it's working. It's working. Oh, that's fantastic. There's Donna. Hi, Donna. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad that Facebook did not boot me off the first try. I've been struggling with this all week long. There's Tony. Tony, my dear, how are you? I hope everybody has had a great week so far. I missed everybody yesterday because we didn't have a live yesterday, but I'm here today. A little bit different time. There's Kindle. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, happy Friday, Nicole. I'm, you guys, I'm happy, but I'm also kind of sad because today was my youngest, her fifth grade graduation, which was why we had adjusted our schedule um, a little bit. I'm excited for her, but I'm also like, oh, it's so sad because, like, you know, she's not a baby anymore. But it's exciting. She's excited. So, all good things. Katie, I've missed you, too. <laughs> Hi, Alice. How are you? Hi, Eve. I'm so glad. Oh, there's Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. You guys. You guys are so good. Like, to me, in general. Like, you're good to each other, but you're also so good to me. And I, you know, the support that I get from you guys is just amazing. So, thank you for all the congratulations for my daughter today. Super exciting. I was not fun. It was not fun to stand in the heat because they made us do it outside because, you know, social distancing and whatnot. But it was worth it. But, man, was it hot. It's too hot. It's not even June yet. It's just too hot here. Oh, love that. I love that, Maggie. <laughs> Did the kits post in the shop? Yes, the kits posted in the shop. They should be there now. Let me double check just to be sure. But yeah, they should be there now. I uploaded them about 10 minutes ago. Sometimes it takes Etsy a couple of minutes to get caught up, but for the most part, um, it, it happens pretty quickly. So they should be there. Nicole will be here in just a little bit to post links for you guys. She's running a little bit behind today, but that is fine. Joan is off visiting with Ginger. So she's out of town. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Ginger doesn't actually live here in Knoxville. Um, so that's where Joan is. Also, if you hear all of this weird noise in the background, of course it's the dogs, but I gave them two, um, two bones to chew on. <laughs> And my golden retriever makes the most disgusting noises. I almost wish I hadn't given it to him. There's Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Ruth. So, um, yeah, that's what all the weird grunting and <laughs> heavy breathing is in the background. <laughs> you guys are used to it by now, I'm sure. But, yeah. So, it is Feel Good Friday. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what Feel Good Friday is, that is our day of the week where we do simple, easy, but beautiful instant gratification jewelry that you can easily recreate with things in your own stash, or you can buy the kits pre-made in my Etsy shop. So I've got three projects for you guys today. I have two necklaces and a really simple but gorgeous pair of earrings to put together for you guys. And one of the necklaces, I really, I love both of the necklaces. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. They're both fabulous, but one of them is really super cool. It's not in a color that I necessarily like for the most part, is I'm not a pink person. However, I, love this necklace and it has pink in it. It's pink and blue. There is some vintage ribbon that is incorporated into it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I tried to take good pictures of it for the Etsy shop, but the pictures just do not do it justice. So we're going to put it together. I'm going to put it on the bust. I'm going to show it to you so that you can see what it looks like live over, you know, iPad, Facebook. And, um, so Nicole says, how many new kits? Nicole, there are three. There are two necklaces and one pair of earrings. Everything has blue in it today. I don't know if that is, you know, if that was some sort of subliminal thing that I had going on, but um, blue is the name of the game when it comes to <laughs> Jackie. The grunting and heavy breathing. It's, it's not me. <laughs> it's my dogs eating their bones. So, um, but yeah, in the shop, two necklaces and a pair of earrings. I totally just got sidetracked with my train of thought. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so let's get started, shall we? Now, before we get down to the mat, I do wanna tell you, 
So one of the necklaces, and you'll see, I tried to take, this is where my train of thought was going. I tried to take really good pictures of this one, but it was very hard because it is an over the head necklace, meaning it's very, very long. And it was difficult to take pictures of it. And it's also going to be difficult for you guys to see it on the mat, okay? Because it is a really long necklace. I'll do the short necklace first. We'll do the long necklace and then I'll save the earrings for the end, okay? So um, anything else that I need to tell you guys? Not that I can think of right this second. I do know that before we go, I do have a couple of, you know, little announcements for um, the hardwired group. But, in, but you guys can wait until then, so. It's been one of those days. It's Friday. Feel good Friday. You know, it's super casual. So it's great to see you too, Lisa. All right. I'm going to turn you guys around. All right. Let's get down to business, shall we? Hold on. My iPod is, or not my iPod, my iPad. There we go. No? So I remember what it was that I meant to tell you guys. Uh, I've got a Michaels class tomorrow at 2 p.m. I'll give you the more reminders about that coming up soon. Okay, so here's the thing. Because I, <laughs> because I only had so many items for the, these kits for this week, I don't have a sample that's already made. So we're going to kind of you're going to have to wait to see the finished piece unless you go sneak over to Etsy and take a look at the finished piece. But, um, yeah, so I did half of it already just so that we could move on because three projects is always a lot, but we're going to get started with that. So I'm going to pull out all of the little beady goodness that we need here and we will get started with this. So the center of this necklace is one of these guys, obviously. And I wanted to really kind of build this up and do something a little bit extra. So we're gonna put in some check glass beads here. I'm actually gonna pull the picture of this up because I don't wanna mess this one up. That would be my luck. I would mess this up before I even get it going here. Hold on, give me just a second. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so I just wanted to remember exactly what I had here in the center. I thought it was a little bit more complicated than this, but it is not. I'm trying to get everything to light up too. The light seems awfully dim today. There, that's a little better. There we go, brightening everything up. That's what I was looking for. All right, so it's one of these cute little connectors here. Some of you probably have these in your stash already um, or have something very similar so that you can recreate these or you can grab the one just like this that is in the Etsy shop already ready for you. You've got all the beads here to use with it, all the little daisy spacers and of course, all of the materials that you're gonna need to create this, okay? So we are going to go ahead and just do some wire wrapping. That's really all there is to today's projects, okay? We are doing just very simple, um, simple loops and wrapped loops, but that's always the name of the game for Feel Good Friday, right? It's simple instant gratification jewelry. So let's not overthink things today. All right, so I do have some beads that need to have that need to be on a head pin. So we're gonna do the head pin beads first and then we will connect everything together, okay? So where are my head pins? I'm pretty sure, do you guys hear my dog? Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're so funny. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these on head pins. Now, these actually came across in the picture on Etsy. They came across purple. They're really not. They're actually blue and they do match everything here. But for some reason in the light that where I took the picture, I don't know why, but these weird little iridescent beads ended up looking very, very purple. In person, they are not. They are quite blue and they do have that kind of AB flash to them. All right, so. On to the head pin, we're just gonna give this a good bend. We're gonna do a wrapped loop on the top of this, so things that we are already used to doing, right? I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers. I'm gonna take that wire up and over the top barrel of the pliers. And now in order to get that wire over here to the other side, I need to rotate the pliers to get that bottom barrel out of the way, take the wire over to the other side, okay? I'm gonna switch hands. It does look like mermaid glass. I love that. That's probably why I picked it. 
I am not a water person, but I do love a good mermaid, so. And I love blues and watery, watery colors, not so much water in general. <laughs> All right, so there's our wrapped loop. We're gonna come in with our cutter tool, which I did not grab. Let me grab that right now. And we are going to trim off. So we're gonna do a few of these. And once you trim off the wire, you definitely want to come in with your chain nose pliers and tuck in any of your ends so that you don't have anything sticking out that's gonna get hung on your clothing or scratch your skin. Still grunting and heavy breathing. I know, <laughs> they are, they're right underneath my feet, so. <laughs> that's why I always give the warning. I'm like, that's my dogs because you, you know, somebody who comes in like mid Facebook Live, they're like, what is that noise? <laughs> Always have to give the disclaimer. Those are my dogs you hear. It's not me making all that racket. All right, so we're gonna do it again because we've got three of these really beautiful mermaid glass, if you will, beads. I do love dangles. I can't, I can't help myself. All right, so giving it a bend, we're gonna come back in with our round nose pliers and taking the wire up and over, rotating our pliers and taking the wire over to the other side. So for those of you who told me recently that you have been struggling with your wraps loops, have you been practicing? Because this is a great project for practicing all of your wrapped loops. It's a good one, it's a good one. All right, coming in with my cutter tool, I'm gonna to trim off and then I do want to come in and tuck. Okay, all right, now on the other side, We've got to do these two, okay? So we're gonna do one like that and then just one of the little Swarovski crystals. And the little druck bead, I love these druck beads. Is that not pretty? It's like a denim blue. I think I saw somebody else mention that earlier. The denim blue, so pretty. Uh, so Nancy, as far as the gauge on my head pins and my eye pins, I believe it's 21 gauge. Um, but 22 gauge is my favorite wire for everything. Um, but I believe these are 21. Sarah's dangles. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one, Sylvia. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so again, I'm just gonna do another wrapped loop, okay? Come in with my round nose pliers. We're going up and over, so we're doing a lot of practice with our wrapped loops today because you're going to see a couple more of these. We're actually going to be doing some simple loops as well. And I don't know how you guys feel about simple loops, but I struggle with mine. So it's going to be a good practice for me. Okay, so there is another wrapped loop. Not drug beads, druck, druck, D-R-U-K, druck. <laughs> Not drug beads. Though that is really funny because I I would consider myself a dealer of beady, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to steal Kathleen's line, beady goodness. Kathleen is the procurer of beady goodness. I am the dealer of beady goodness. <laughs> yeah, druck means round, which is really funny because druck beads are not actually round at all. I don't know if you've ever paid attention to them, but I can spot a drug bead a mile away because it's not actually round at all. It is a very strange shape. It, I don't, I don't know. It, that isn't a round bead. I'm sorry. It's just not <laughs> what you would call it. It's like a, it's just like a, fl a fat oval. Okay, moving on. We're going to do our wrapped loop here. Okay. And then we're gonna move on. Albert, please stop that. He is so loud. I've been letting the dogs sleep in my room, which I normally don't do. I normally kennel them downstairs, which they've been kenneled at night since they were puppies, but I've been letting them sleep in my room recently. And you hear him? It's so hard to sleep when he breathes like that. <laughs> That's just how he breathes though. <laughs> That says it's totally fine. That's just the way he is. It's just funny though. He's a heavy breather. He's a mouth breather. <laughs> of course he is. Okay, anyway. Um, I am wearing my crown ring today. Thank you. Okay, so we've got these ready, but we do need to make 
some that are on loops. So we're gonna thread these onto eye pins instead of head pins. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and attach, before I thread my bead on, I'm gonna go ahead and attach what needs to hang from the bottom of this, okay? So I'm gonna take my eye pin and I'm going to just open it up, just kind of with a twist, right? I'm gonna thread on one of our little mermaid beads and I'm gonna close that back. For me, it's just easier to go ahead and, and attach whatever is gonna be hanging from the eye pin before you put the bead on there. It's just easier to open and close it, but that's just personal preference. You do it in whatever order you wanna do. I'm gonna thread my bead on. Is that not beautiful? Kathleen found these beautiful check glass beads. They're so pretty. And now we're gonna do a wrapped loop on the top of this. So same thing, bending my wire, okay. Coming in with the round nose pliers to do another wrap loop. And we're going to attach all of this with jump rings. So if you want to forego the jump rings and you want to attach everything just by wire wrapping it directly to the focal, you absolutely can do that. That is up to you. But in the kits, you do get all of the jump rings that you need if you want to use the jump rings to attach everything. Okay. Albert. Every time I fuss at him, he looks at me. He's like, Mom, I'm just breathing, Mom. I'm just breathing. It's just the way I am. All right, so there's that. That's going to be in the center, okay? And on either side, we're going to have another one of these. They're a little daisy spacer. So I'm going to go ahead, again, just like I did with the other. I'm going to open up the eye first. I'm going to thread on our little mermaid dangle bead and close that back. Okay, now I'm going to thread on the beads that go on the top. And I'm going to create a wrapped loop. Okay. So, chain those pliers. Oh no, somebody's making plans and Wanda is involved. <laughs> that sounds like something shenanigan related i'm gonna need to be a part of whatever trouble they are working on <laughs> all right and we're going to wrap okay and then we are going to attach everything with our jump rings and then i'm going to take this just a little bit further because like we already stated i am extra and everything i do tends to be extra <laughs> including my little designs because you could just leave this as simple as it is but you know I have to take it like up a notch because that's just kind of the way I am so I'll show you what we're going to do just a little extra to this but let's put everything together first so we're going to open our jump ring okay we are going to thread on our center and go ahead and attach that to the center ring in our focal close that back and then we're just gonna repeat on the sides so that we can attach the rest of our little dangles here. Oh my gosh, Albert. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That's why he doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> oh goodness. I've never in my life had a dog that breathes as loud as he does. It's so funny. <laughs> it's like a snort. It's not a breeze. It's a snort. <laughs> All right. Now, I do want to mention that I don't use every single one of the loops on the bottom of this. Okay. So, I actually left these two open just because you see how large our check glass focal bead is. I wanted to be sure that it had plenty of room and it wasn't crowded out. So because it is a little bit bigger, I didn't put anything on these two loops. But you'll see that once it's all put together, you never even notice that those loops are empty. So just kind of remind yourself that if you're ever working with these focals, these pre-made kind of focals, you don't have to fill in every single hole with something. Don't feel like you have to utilize every single opening because you really don't. It's not necessary. 
All right, so they're all of the dangles for the bottom of that. And it is absolutely beautiful, just like it is. Really is super, super pretty. Okay, good. Karen can't hear him. That, that makes me happy. Because <laughs> he really, it's like, it's super embarrassing. But I mean, it, that's just him. That's just the way he is. He's a beautiful boy. He just is a noisy boy. Okay, so it looks beautiful just like it is. But... I have to take things to the next level. So what did I do? I took some extra beads and I put them on eye pins and did just simple loops, right? Because there's already a simple loop on one side. So I did a simple loop on the other side. I attached them with six millimeter jump rings and then I'm just gonna hang them from the two loops here at the top before we attach our chain so that this actually kind of makes it kind of like a faux two layer focal if you will right albert's always in trouble i know <laughs> gotta love him he is always in trouble though it's, he's not really he is a really good boy he's just a very noisy boy all right so i have my two pieces of chain i'm going to go ahead and lay those out but first i'm going to open these jump rings that are on either end of my little chain section here so these little i don't know they look like little pumpkins are some little um, clear. They're very similar to the um, beads that are hanging on the bottom. And then just another kind of denim blue bead that does match everything. It's weird because the colors, they really do go together, but it looks kind of funny in the pictures in natural sunlight for some reason. But I promise it all it all goes, it all matches. All right, so I'm just going to, going to attach that here, okay? And then I'm gonna open up the jump ring on the other end and attach it. And then we will attach our chain. So this is a pretty simple, straightforward necklace, but I feel like the results are really, really beautiful. And you don't have to do this extra little layer if you don't want to. You can leave this off. If that's not your style, you don't have to do the extra like I do because I have to make everything just kind of crazy and over the top but I do feel like it it does kind of make it more my own I struggle I don't know how you guys feel about it but I struggle when using these pre-made focals and part of the reason that I struggle with it is because I feel like no matter what I hang from them they always look the same like I feel like well mine looks just like everybody else's right so when I have the opportunity to do something just as simple as adding three extra little beads to the top just to kind of make it a little bit different that's what I always try to do I I like for all of my pieces to be unique in some way um, even if we're all using the same components, right? So that was just kind of my little added touch to this just to make it so that I didn't look like every single other person who has this exact same component, you know? So, all right, just going to attach And then this one is done. And I'll show you what it looks like on the bust. It looks much prettier hanging, but it is still just a really beautiful springtime, you know, some summertime necklace. That's sometimes less is more. And when you've got a focal element like this, this little component, you don't have to go crazy bananas and do wild things with it. You can if you want to, but if you're looking for just a piece that you can wear every day with your jeans, this is definitely one of those, but you can also get away with this with like a little spring dress. So, all right, so that's necklace number one. I think it's a very, very pretty. The kit is in the shop. If you're interested, you get all the PC parts to recreate this one. I'm going to sit this to the side for just a second. We're going to move on to the next necklace. Now, this one, not that I didn't love the other one, but this one I'm really, really obsessed with. <laughs> this has included in it some vintage ribbon that I have found. I ended up with quite a bit of it, so there's enough for several kits. It is that woven jacquard. I never feel like I say that right. I guess it is. Um, but it's woven ribbon, so it's not like grow grain. This is like woven, really pretty. It is very thin and lightweight, so it's not gonna be a heavy, it's not gonna be heavy for the, the hot weather that we're having here. So anyway, everybody gets a really long piece of the ribbon, okay? And the ribbon ends are unfinished. This is actually the back part of our necklace. So the piece that you get is long enough to come down the front so that you can see 
what it looks like, right? You're still gonna be able to see every bit of the ribbon. And then we're gonna take some little beaded sections. So one of them is already beaded up and we're just gonna do the other side. So there's a connector, there's some crystal beads, some check glass, and then another connector. That's gonna go down the side. It's really hard to see this necklace because it's gonna be one that is already, or that is too big for the, too big for the shot here, but you're just gonna have to trust me. So we're gonna build this together, okay? And then from the bottom of that are two lengths of chain that are in different lengths so that it gives it just a little extra drape at the bottom. It's hard to see it all flat. Um, card, jac jacquard, jacquard. <laughs> Jacquard rhymes with card. Am I, I'm still saying it wrong. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I forgive myself. If you will forgive me as well. <laughs> I'm terrible with words. So anyway, we're going to put this together. We're going to create this little section. And then to really get the full picture of this necklace, you have to see it on the bust. So you'll really kind of have to wait to see this one um, in its glory until we turn the camera back around. However, what I want to mention to you guys is that one of you, <laughs> one of you that buys the kit for this necklace will get your piece of um, ribbon already finished with the ribbon ends on it because once I attach the ribbon ends, I can't take them off. So one of you will get the actual piece of ribbon from the, the live today, okay? And it'll already have the ends on it. Everybody else, you have to put your own, but for whoever gets it, they're gonna get it with the ends already ready just so you know. <laughs> okay. So we're actually going to do that first. So with your ribbon, particularly with your woven ribbons, um, you want to try to trim off any of the little, the little extra pieces before you attach your ribbon end to it. So I'm just going to trim those off. Okay. Try to keep it as, as clean as possible. I'm going to take, you can see how this is open up. It's like a little alligator mouth. We're just gonna slide that onto the end of the ribbon. You wanna slide the ribbon all the way up into the corner, okay? And then I start with my fingers to just kind of squeeze it down, but then I come in with my pliers and flatten it nice and flat over the ribbon. But I do like to get it started with my fingers just so that I can hold everything in place and the ribbon doesn't slide out as I'm trying to close it. Okay, so you want to squeeze nice and close. You can see I'm. That's why I can't take it off once it's done. Okay, once it's on there, it's on there for good. So you got to be sure you get it nice and secure the first time. Okay, now you've got a little loop here. That's going to be where we are going to attach all of our beady goodness from it. I'm going to do the same thing over here on the other side. So I'm going to. Put the end into the ribbon end and then start kind of closing that with my fingers and then I'll close it the rest of the way with my pliers. Okay. Flat nose pliers are really good for this as well because they have such a nice large surface but we're working with what we got here. All right, so there, our ribbon ends are finished. I don't have to worry that it's gonna fray or anything like that. They're nice and protected and we have our little loops so that we can attach whatever we want to to them, okay? So this one, we will attach that with our jump ring here in just a second, but let's build up the other side. So we have our two little filigree connectors here and then we have a little selection of our beads. Now, I am not much of a pink person, I will be straight up with you. I don't love pink, but I do love it in this necklace. And, you know, I I would even wear this, <laughs> which is, that's saying a lot because I just don't do pink. I just don't. But I would totally wear this. Okay, so eye pins is the name of the game and simple loops. Remember I told you with the last necklace, that was about the wrap loops. This one's about the simple loops. So that's what we're going to do, okay? So we are going to start down here on the bottom and just work our way up. We're gonna take an eye pin. We're gonna take one of our faceted crystal beads, this beautiful pink with that AB finish. And 
we're going to come in with our chain nose pliers. So our simple loops are different than our wrapped loops because we don't bend the wire over the top of the pliers. The bend needs to happen over the top of the bead. So to do that, I hold it in my fingers and then I use the pliers to kind of bite down and bend the wire over the top of the bead. Okay, now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna trim off. So I'm gonna come in with my cutter tool. You wanna trim off and leave yourself about a fourth of an inch of your wire to create your simple loop. So just go ahead, trim that off. And then you come in with your round nose pliers and you wanna grab the tip of that wire with your round nose pliers and then you want to roll back to yourself to close up your loop. Okay, and mine are never perfect, just never. <laughs> mine always look bad, but once you put the whole thing together, nobody notices. So I always just remind myself of that. Give myself a little bit of grace, it's okay. Those loops in the grand scheme of things are really not going to be noticeable. So, all right, we're moving on, another one. We're gonna do another eye pin. This time we're gonna thread on a small little faceted bead and we are going to thread on these two blue rondelles and we are going to do another simple loop over those so i'm grabbing with my pliers holding on my beads bending that wire notice see the movement that i make it's like open and close open and close open and close it's just just a really slight kind of motion to to make the bend in the wire okay coming in with the cutter tool again and round nose pliers rolling back to close our loop okay i'm gonna sit that one down okay our next bead up is actually gonna have two head pins with it just to give it a little extra decoration so there's our i'm sorry bead caps i don't know where my brain is today bead cap on the bottom slide down our bead and then a bead cap on the top and another simple loop. So grabbing that wire, holding everything and just kind of chomping down on it. Okay. Gonna come in with a cutter tool, trim, and then round nose pliers to roll back to make our loop. Okay. So that's that one. You can see how we're kind of building, building a little pattern here, okay? So now we're gonna do another eye pin. This time we're gonna do the two blue rondelles first and then the small beads. So you can see, I don't know if you noticed, but the this one down here has the pink crystal on the bottom. This one needs the, the pink crystal on the top. Just makes sense to me that way. You can do them however you wanna do them. But that's, that was kind of my thinking with those. Okay, so holding all the beads, bending. I'm gonna come in with my cutter tool. I'm gonna trim off, leave myself about a fourth of an inch. And then I'm coming in with the round nose pliers to roll backwards to close our loop, okay? And we've got one more to go this last little bead, which is also down here on one end, so it matches up here on the top. It's a very balanced design. Sometimes I don't like it to be super balanced, but this one I went with lots and lots of balance for this. So everything really, the design really kind of makes sense. Okay, so holding, bending. I'm gonna come in with my cutter, trim. Round nose pliers, roll back, and there's our loop, okay? All right, now, all of this is connected with some six millimeter jump rings. So now what, uh, that's the way I feel too. Terry says, I don't like the extra space the loopers leave. I don't either, that really bothered me. <laughs> So that's why I was never really a fan of the tool because of the extra space. It just drove me crazy. Some people don't mind it. And honestly, when you put a design together, you don't even notice it, but it would, it drove me crazy. So I just never, 
I never fell in love with it. I wanted to. I tried. Okay. So now we're going to attach all of this, just like I said, and we're just going to use a series of six millimeter jump rings. All of these are included in your kit. So you just want to take two pairs of pliers, hold them with the opening away from you and twist with just one of the pliers. And I'm going to thread that onto the bottom of our little filigree. I'm going to thread on one of our beads and then I'm just going to close that back with that same motion, just in reverse. Make sure I get a good closure. Another jump ring, open, thread on our next little beaded section, close, <laughs> Kindle says I never had extra space, isn't that weird, open, maybe it doesn't happen to all of us, maybe it just happens to some of us. <laughs> Now I'm starting to wonder if I'm just crazy, but somebody else mentioned it. So Terry said so. Maybe it's just me and Terry. <laughs> okay, gonna open. Threading on the next. And close that back. And we've got one more bead for our little beaded section. And then we're gonna add our Last little filigree piece. So jump ring here. Open. And thread on our filigree. And close. Okay. Now we want to attach everything up here so this one's already got a jump ring on it I'm gonna go ahead and open our jump ring I'm gonna thread that on to the ribbon end and close that back I'm gonna do the same thing over on the other one close it back Okay. I wish you could see all of this at once in one shot, but just does not work out that way. Okay, so now down here on the bottom, I've only got one jump ring left. I got to open this one up here, but I'm going to thread on my two pieces of chain and my chain pieces are two different lengths. So I'm going to find the long one. I'm going to attach the long one first and then put the shorter one in front of it on my jump ring. So I'm going to open up the jump ring. I'm gonna thread on one end of the long piece of chain. That one can go to the back. The shorter piece can go to the front. I'm gonna close that back. Okay. Separate them out so that I know which is which here. Okay, another jump ring. The longer piece in the back the shorter little piece in the front. So this is just really small cable chain. It's just plain um, cable chain. There's really, it doesn't have anything decorative to it. It's just, it's just standard little chain. Something decorative would look really cool here though, by the way, closing that back. All right, so when it's hanging, you've got two tiered pieces of chain here at the bottom. Now notice there are no, there's no hardware with this as far as a clasp is concerned. That's because this is a really long necklace that just goes over your head. Because you've got a nice long piece of the beautiful ribbon here. So I know you can't see just how beautiful this is flat on the table, but I can't wait for you to see it. So you are going to be able to see this just when we get done with our very last project. So I'm gonna set that to the side. I know it seems very kind of anticlimactic because you're not getting to see it in all its glory just yet, but you will, I promise. So real quick, we're gonna put together our very last kit that is in the shop and it is this these beautiful earrings. I'm in love. And I don't know what it is about this color blue, but I mean, it's in everything today. It's in all three of our, our kits for the day. So we're gonna put these together easy peasy. We just bring in all the little parts here, put these together. OK, 
okay? So we've got an extra long head pin here. I'm gonna thread on a bead cap and then a pressed glass drop in that gorgeous blue. And then I'm gonna top that off with a bead cap that's like cone shaped. And I'm gonna come in with my chain nose. Oh no, I'm not either. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a little bicone on top of that. <laughs> Almost forgot. Put a bicone on top of that, and now we are going to do a wrapped loop. So grabbing, bending the wire. I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers. We're going up and over. Rotate, take the wire on around. I'm gonna switch hands and going to wire wrap in between and then I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and trim off so which bead caps are you asking are you asking about the cone shaped ones or are you talking about the little bead caps on the bottom um, I believe you can get either one of them at Fire Mountain Gems I'm not really sure I've I have a bunch of these caps that I've had forever and this was the perfect opportunity to use up some of them I've had them for a long time. I think it was Fire Mountain Gems, but I'm not sure. Um, but if you're looking for some, I can help you try to find some. Or <sighs> Kathleen can try to help you find some <laughs> to give her all the credit because she is really the rock star when it comes to finding amazing things. All right, so we've got an eye pin. I'm going to go ahead and open the eye pin. I'm going to thread that on, close that back. And I've got another beautiful bicone here that's just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do another wrapped loop on the top here. And then we'll add our ear wire. So these are super easy, but earrings are like that. Unless you're going to do just like a really complicated, um, you know, component or whatever. Sometimes simple is good when it comes to earrings, right? Just stack things up and see what beautiful things happen. So easy peasy on these guys. And of course, anywhere there are wrapped loops, if you feel more comfortable with simple loops, you can substitute simple loops instead. So no problems there. Okay. I'm gonna come in with my cutter tool, trim off the tail here that we don't need. Tuck in anything that's sticking out and then we're just going to add the ear wire to it and that's it's that easy that's uh, just a couple of steps and these earrings are definitely one of those where you know you can dress them up you can dress them down they're really really beautiful they're not heavy if they are too long for you leave out the top bicone and it'll shorten them up just a little bit so I know not everybody likes super long earrings but these are these are definitely wearable as far as length is concerned, even for those of you who don't like super long earrings, it's this is kind of a wearable link. Prudence says I don't like complicated. You know what? Doesn't need to be complicated. Doesn't need to be complicated. Gorgeous jewelry does not have to be hard, so I'm your girl. <laughs> Prudence says beautiful, love that blue. I know, it's so pretty. It's such a calming blue. I think that's why I've used it in all three of the kits today because I I kind of needed some calm in my life. So I guess that's why I went with it and I'm just sharing it with you guys. All right, I'm gonna turn you around so we can take a look at these at a different angle. It always helps to see things hanging, right? So let's start with the first necklace that we made. I'll put it on the bust so you can take a look at it. Okay, so there's the first one really really pretty again just that calming kind of denim blue that's just really <laughs> need to put kathleen spines in your etsy shop I, that would be awesome that would be so awesome <laughs> all right so there's the first one definitely a beautiful design and then this one i'm feeling this pink okay so this is even longer than the bust that i have so I'm just going to have to kind of hold it back for you to see. Is this not pretty? I mean, I guess you could say that it's not if you want to. You don't have to agree with me. But I feel like this is just so springtime, summertime. It's kind of boho, but it's also a little, a little dressy because of the sparkle and the pink, right? It's just such a fun piece. It's really, really lightweight. Just throw it over your head and wear it with whatever you got on, right? love it love it love it love it one of my favorites 
I need to find some more pieces of ribbon so that I can do this in different colors. I really think it's beautiful. You don't have to mess with a clasp or anything like that. <laughs> Kathleen, you're funny. All right, so there was that one. And then last but not least are the earrings. And I'll put one of these on so that you can see what they look like on because they do look different hanging than they do laying flat. But these are so pretty. They're so, so pretty. How pretty is that? See, and you know, with just a little, a little something. Give you a little something. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Actually, I kind of do. Neela and I, I was talking to Neela Patel last night. We had a, um, we had a little happy hour Zoom with each other. And we were talking about how, you know, we, we focused on Zoom earrings because everybody was social distancing and we were doing Zoom for absolutely everything. And now people are starting to go back out into the world and you can put on your jewelry again, which is fantastic. So we're, we were talking about like kind of taking baby steps, you know, and well, this is a baby step, right? Baby step into the, the, the beautiful world of jewelry and being out in the world again, right? This would be one of those. Easy, quick, put on, it's beautiful, you're ready to go out the door and you feel put together, right? I love that, I love that. I'm so I'm so happy to be able to go back out into the world. So I'm happy to be wearing on my jewelry, right? But that's a baby step. It's been a while since we've been like, you know, wearing lots of jewelry unless we're just hanging out. <laughs> just because there's a little something something. Yeah, it's just a little something something. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, you guys, so that's it. Those are the three kits that are in the shop right now. If you would like to grab those, I appreciate all of your business very, very much. It means so much to me. You have no idea. Um, and let's see, if you do not want to purchase the kits, but you still want to give to the Sarah Ellis tip jar, the name of that will be changing very soon. <laughs> um, you can do so through PayPal or through the Cash app. I don't, Nicole, do you have the, the links for that? I don't know if we, we've given you the links for that or not. Um, let's see. There was a question. Kendall said, how long is the ribbon? Can a short person wear it? Yes. Yes, they can. And here's the thing. You can trim it down, right? Any of the kits are like that. Like you can trim it down. If you get the kit and you're like, hmm, this is a little too long for me. You can definitely trim it down. But I'll tell you exactly how long it is. Give me just a second. Let me make a little measurement for you here. Seven. So it's about 22 inches of ribbon. So that's, it's a lot of ribbon, but you definitely can trim it down. The only thing is that when you put it on, right, you don't want to trim it so much that you don't actually see the ribbon. So just be mindful. Like I'm always like bringing my hair to the front. Just be mindful of your hair length because you want to still be able to see that beautiful pattern on the ribbon. If you cut it real short, then you don't ever see any of it. So you could either trim the ribbon a little short or you could shorten your chain or you could take out a bead, right? You could take out a bead or two in this section to make your adjustments. And then you still have the beautiful ribbon as part of the design and it doesn't get, it doesn't get hidden, right? So just some little suggestions there for you guys. So tomorrow I have a Michaels class that is happening at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So the links for that are posted within the group if you would like to sign up for that or you can go straight over to the Michaels website and pull up what says where it says classes and it'll give you a schedule. You'll be able to see where um, my class is and you just click on it and follow all the links. They send you a reminder and a link to get to the class. Um, if you have any trouble with that, definitely send Michaels an, a message and let them know. Um, because sometimes they say that the class is full when it absolutely is not full. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't, don't let the website trick you into thinking that the class is filled up because there's room for like 5,000 people. So I've never had that many people in a class ever. Um, so there's always room for more. Um, let's see, something else. So for those of you who are part of our paid group, the Hardwired group, we are having our question and answer tonight at 8 p.m. Do not forget about that. It is also going to be followed by our monthly social. So there is a Zoom link posted in the group so that you can come and join us for the social event, which I think is going to be a whole lot of fun. It's the first time for us to be doing that. As far as next week is concerned, the schedule will go right back to normal. Everything will still be 
moving right along. I've got a Michael's class in the middle of the week. My Michael's class next week is on Wednesday instead of Saturday. I will have links for that as well. Um, and on Thursday, we're doing Sam's bead box and Sam will be here to hang out with us. We'll check out what was in this past box and you'll have the opportunity to use a coupon code to sign up for the next box if you are not already subscribed. So lots of fun things coming. I've got plans in um, coming down with Nile. Nile is going to be, you guys are going to be seeing Nile in the paid group as well as in the free group. You're going to see a little bit of Nile. He's got two kits coming that you guys are going to love. And then Nile and I also have a collaboration project that is coming in um, the very, I think it's July 1st. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's July 1st. So yeah, got lots of fun things coming up. Thanks for sticking around and hanging out with me. I appreciate it so, so much. Be sure that if you want to grab something from the Etsy shop, you don't wait too long. Usually by the end of the weekend, the most popular things are sold out. So don't wait too long. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Some of you I'll see later tonight. The rest of you I will see next week. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.